I was at church yesterday, and one of the things that the, these churches do, not like the old school church, like Catholic church, you know, not ca- Catholic. Like real church? church. Like, like the modern <laughs> church. Like I go to this church, this guy, I've, ta- I've had him on the show before, Pastor Terry Chris, the guy's amazing. But things about the churches, they really get how to get you in and involved. Like as I'm sitting there, they're like, you know, hey, if you're new here, boom, look on the screen, text us. Let us know how we're doing. And I was like, man, we got to do that on the radio show. <laughs> like, hey, this is your first time. If this is your first time listening to us, you know, text the show. Text JJR and let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you think. Uh, so text JJR to 96893 and let us know. Just let us know how we're doing. We encourage you <laughs> we to encourage join you. our show. Yeah, you're home. <laughs> this is your morning show. You're home. Um. So yesterday, you guys, I spent a big part of the day trying to get the new iPhone. Oh, yeah? How'd yeah. that go? Didn't. I went to three different AT&T stores because Noah, Noah was talking about this, right? You had this like great like at and yeah, I go to AT&T and something, right? What was it? You said you're paying up just $2 a month. AT&T, $1,000 off. Yeah, because they took in your phone. Yeah, so I, I, and I'm, I'm assuming your program or the thing you got it was, a, was true. Because we went to three different AT&T stores, and I didn't get that far because they didn't have product. Oh, you know, man. sold out. Sold out the the because you know I didn't get the iPhone 13 because the, I'm I thought it was bad luck. So mm-hmm. I'm ready for the iPhone 14, and my phone's falling apart. I have the 10. My wife has the 10, and so I go to three different AT&T stores, and I um. The, the Pro Max or whatever, the Pro. I want the iPhone. I think I want the smaller one. I think I'm going to go for the smaller really? one. Really? First time ever, I think. It's so, so I want the I want the 14 Pro, and Blake wants the 14 Pro Max. And the three AT&T stores we went to, they're out. And they're like, if you can you can order them, and we'll get them to you sometime in November. I'm like, November? I might not even be talking on the phone in November. <laughs> like, I'm like, I, want, I want my phone now. So then I'm just, I thought, you know, I'm going there. If anybody, uh, if you work at an AT&T store and you have those, shoot me a message. I'll come pick them up today. Because that's the thing. You just, they're just not there. But some, you, and, and they won't tell you which stores have inventory. Why? I guess there's too many of them. I don't know. The, well, the one store with lady wasn't very friendly. And she was like, you know. I, you have to go to another store. We, we don't know their inventory. I'm like, okay. I'm assuming they've been asked a million times and mm-hmm. they've been out for weeks. You know, yeah. just order it online. You get it this week. You don't uh, have to do anything. Yeah, but then I don't know the terabytes. <laughs> <laughs> you should do it in here and Rich can help. Yeah, right. yeah, but they, but didn't, I'm going to max it yeah, out for AT&T, you. <laughs> AT&T, you, uh, I could trade it in. You, you could get, trade you it get, in get, on Apple too. And you get, yeah, but I, my program is through AT&T. Yeah, it's, it's fine. What do you mean it's fine? I have AT and T. I did through the through Apple's website. And are you store. making monthly payments? No, I just uh, traded okay. in my phone, and then I just paid you know whatever cash for the the remainder. See, I don't want to pay whatever cash. But you can, you can do pay monthly. Yeah, but there. your phone, your other phone's probably already paid off, right? Yeah, I paid for it the first time, uh, lump sum, and then uh, then later things changed, and now we're I don't know. Remember, it was a company phone. Now it's not a company phone. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're always. There's difficult, so- John Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Things yeah. don't always go as they usually do. Yeah. Fire up the website. I'll help you out. If you don't like it, then you go to the store. Yeah. But you could probably get it this week or next week. I don't know. You have to That's do anything. Better than November, I want to deal with right. a human being. I'm okay. not going to well, go. I'm really? deal with, yes. I think the problem is you don't want to go to the, your mailbox. You don't know where your mailbox is I in your house. Mailbox is. <laughs> so, so it's something that I was thinking about this, if this is relatable or unrelatable. And then I thought, this is, I think the, of what happened is relatable. But the way it did happen to me yesterday is is not relatable. So I'm driving this McLaren, right? <laughs> so far, everybody's out but you. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the price tag on this car is $370,000. Right? Amazing. And I'm driving it because it's part of this charity event that we had over the weekend. The Cars and Canines. Rich was there. It was packed. It was an amazing event. Just amazing. We found homes for a bunch of dogs. It was, just, it was a wonderful event. And I, my plan was, to, I thought I was going to leave the car with them there. And then the guy, John with LAC says to me, hey, bring the car back Monday and I have a check for Love Pup for $10,000. That's I'm awesome. Like, awesome. I'm That's like, great. wow, yeah. of course, no problem. So now I still have the car. So yesterday, my son Dutch, he goes out with his friends and my wife and I, I haven't really talked about this on the air. Actually, I don't think I've talked about it at all. I've been going through this and this is what happens with two of your kids going to college. We've been playing backgammon a lot. No, boy. <laughs> <laughs> backgammon. You ever played backgammon? No. Do you know what it is? Not really. It's against... <laughs> 
<laughs> it, I don't. I don't really. I've never really played backgammon either. <laughs> so I started playing it with her about two weeks ago with my in-laws, right? And they had tournaments at the house. So I started playing. And I never played it, but I talked to Big Smack, and and I started losing. And I got pissed, so I've been secretly watching YouTube videos on how to play backgammon, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and learning as much as I can. Like obsessed with backgammon right now, right? <laughs> so yesterday, I like we got to dinner the two nights ago. We went to dinner and brought a, the a backgammon board with us and sat down oh, at the restaurant intense. after we had dinner and we played like ten games of backgammon. What? Yeah, that's how we're that's how we're doing it. So last night, I had the McLaren and I thought, well, this will be nice and romantic. <laughs> I took the McLaren out, and I thought I got a big view of the city, and then I surprised her with the backgammon board. Boom. And we play a couple games over the look of the city. So the problem is that when this McLaren is not a lot of room, the top's down, and then by turning this way, and she's on the, the driver's on the passenger side, I'm on the driver's side, and I have to turn to play. Eventually, I have this horrible cramp in my back, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, I can't play anymore. My back hurts. Yo, you've seen it because I'm winning. You're not winning, okay? We get, it's just whole thing, right? So anyway... We go to dinner, and then we take the backgammon board with us to dinner, and we play at the restaurant again last night. Then we get back in the McLaren, and now it's dark. And for some reason, Blake opens up the board game, and a chip falls out, like a checker. So picture like you're playing checkers. And it's black, and it falls into the black interior of the McLaren. And we can't find it. <laughs> now, the board game doesn't work without all the chips. And we're tearing apart the McLaren looking for it. Now, the McLaren's small. It's a small little car. And she can't find it. I can't find it. So then we had Dutch come home last night from his friend's house to come search the car. And we can't. We spent an hour. Everyone's sweating. And we cannot find. You know those little things, those dusters, those little cans? The yeah, shoot air out? Yeah. I'm underneath the seat. Trying to blow out anything to see if the chip will fly out. That's and, smart. And we can't find it. We cannot find this chip to this to this backgammon game, which now has ruined the game of backgammon. Like unless we find it this chip. It didn't fall out of the car. She says it didn't fall out of the car. She okay. opened up the board in the car when the door was closed. Oh. But the door is also one of those doors that opens up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I open. You know, as a gentleman, I open the door for her. She gets in. I close the door. And she said that's when I opened up the game. So the chip should be in the car. And we can't find it. And I'm returning the car today. So it's like I have this time to look for it. Now, the only thing on my side is maybe as the sun shines today before I return it, I'll be able to go, oh, there it is. But we've searched the whole car for it. How big is it? Is it like a dime it's size? Small. It's like, yeah, it's a little yeah. bit bigger than that's like a quarter. And it's a shiny little black. I made a TikTok looking for this piece. <laughs> looking for this piece. Because I can't find it. And it's such a bummer because, you know? Is there a whole Reddit thread of people who have lost backgammon pieces in McLaren's? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm assuming that the part that is relatable, people probably lost things in their yeah, car mm-hmm. that they can't sure. find. Things just like for disappear sure. into a vortex. Uh-huh. Right. In your car, like right? Right. Where does it go? Yeah. Is there some hole in the bottom of the car mm-hmm. that we don't know that it just like falls out? Okay, good. There's That's a common joke yeah. that I have with Stacy in my electric car. She holds her phone, phone, and whenever I make a left turn, her phone flies out of her head and in between the seats. And it's just like it does it four or five times a drive, and she could never find it until she, she finds keeps getting it. a new phone. <laughs> well, I mean, she's on her fifth phone <laughs> in the last week. It's in the abyss of the car. Things disappear in there, and you're screwed. A backgammon piece is so small, so small, right? And I'm like, and, and meanwhile, I'm like on the upswing. Of winning these backgammon games. <laughs> right? You're like, John, I can't uh, return the car. To I can't. <laughs> okay. I can't this. That's your some lucky of my set. property. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but I've been watching this, this the world champion. He's been teaching these backgammon classes online. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hell? Dude, there's a video I posted on Instagram of Blake. When I, remember I was telling you guys last week how I couldn't open the door to the McLaren? Yeah. yeah. In the background, Blake's standing there and she's holding a backgammon game, and all the messages I got are, is that backgammon? What kind of board? Is that? is that a travel piece? Is that the? And I'm like, are you serious? Like, there's psycho backgammon people. Who knew? It's right up there with pickleball, I think. <laughs>